Hello and welcome. You're watching FYI. I'm Rishika Barwa. The State Bank of India and the Kotak Mahindra Bank have cut interest rates on home loans. Now, this is a very big development. The SBI is now offering home loans of up to 75 lakh rupees at 6.7%. This is for salaried women borrowers and it's the cheapest ever rate that's been offered by the bank. SBI also continues to waive processing fees on all home loan applications. The Kotak Mahindra Bank, after this news, is also now offering its lowest ever interest rate, starting at 6.65% for both new purchases as well as balance transfers. On your screens right now, we will show you the lowest home loan rates that banks are offering across the country. These, of course, are subject to change. Uh, they are subject to terms and conditions, basis, your loan amount, your age, the duration of your loan and a whole host of other factors. But why are home loans so low? Why are these interest rates so low at the moment? We spoke to experts who suggest that this entire work from home atmosphere has prompted many people to actually go out and buy larger spaces. There are people spending more time at home, their kids are studying from home, therefore people want a better standard of living. There were fence sitters, people who were renting, waiting to buy, have in this post-pandemic climate decided to go in for affordable housing instead of investing elsewhere. But many big questions. Now, a lot of our viewers have actually written to us with many big questions asking if this is the best time, therefore, to buy a house. Is this a short-term push to boost demand for home loans or is there some long-term benefit in sight? Should you at this moment opt for floating or fixed interest rates? Will the interest rates, for instance, be falling further? Should you transfer your loan to a bank which is offering you a better or a lower interest rate? We look to answer some of those questions on the show. But first, let's also try and understand why banks have lowered interest rates at the moment. We have with us on the broadcast Nilesha, Managing Director, Kotak Mahindra Asset Management Company. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, I want to begin by asking you, home loan rates were already at an all-time low in the current market. Now, Kotak has further reduced interest rates to 6.65%. How do you explain this move? See, essentially, today, banks have taken a call that home loan buyers are far better in terms of credit and in terms of risk-adjusted return. It is also supported by some of the changes which have happened on the capital adequacy side for the bank and which is why we are seeing a competition among banking system to provide competitive rates to home loan buyers. Today, it is a matter of pride that home loan buyers are able to borrow at rate which is lower than what state governments are borrowing. So in some sense, home loan buyers are today better credit than state governments. Right. No, so, you know, th this brings me to, to my next question. Kotak's move to slash interest rates came after the SBI announcement. Now, it is a competitive market right now and Kotak's rates are the lowest in the market. There are questions, therefore, that a lo lot of our viewers have actually asked on safety of their loan, sustainability for the bank. What would you like to tell our viewers? So, I represent Kotak Mutual Fund, but in our opinion, bankers are taking a call on their portfolio. Some money go to industrial clients, some money go to retail client. And within retail client, we have seen that home loan is one of the most secured portfolio. Returns are good, risks are minimum, and there is demand for it. You can put, you know, a lot of money to work over there. And if you look at it from a stock market point of view, housing finance companies by and large have received pretty good valuation. They've created wealth for shareholders. So effectively, this is a win-win situation for everyone. Home loan buyer benefits, economy benefits as home loan buyers prepone their consumption. Housing has a multiplier benefit from cement, plywood, tiles, paints to construction workers. Everyone benefits shareholders benefits as this creates a sustainable value right there is less npa so there is less problem for the regulator net net we have seen a 
economy like america becoming very large economy hmm. when they created a dream where every american will a house hmm. and they supported it via various government agencies yes. including freddy me fanny me ginny me they created securitization market housing construction real estate became large component of american economy hmm. india is now taking steps in that direction uh we have a long road to cover long journey yes but we are moving in that direction where every indian has a house okay. and indian financial system provides financing for the same okay so so a housing for all model is what you're talking about but i want to ask you let's come down to the brass tax does this does this apply to new borrowers only what about existing borrowers and their loans what's the sort of advice that you'd like to give them for the existing loan buyers i think they'll have a choice of going back to their banks and look at what terms and conditions they have borrowed in many cases there is floating rate arrangement whereby the rate keeps on adjusting on its own depending upon how benchmark moves hmm. so if you are floating rate borrower then automatically your rates will come down if you are fixed rate borrower then you will have to take a call do you want to continue in fixed rate or after paying some prepayment penalty do you want to refinance it via yes. someone else okay the overall trend for the real estate sector has been better in the past few months and for home loans in general there has been an uptick in demand is the lowering down of interest rates therefore a trend in your opinion that's likely to continue what's your assessment so we are at a very very interesting stage hmm. in the government securities market which is the base benchmark for all fixed income pricing rates have actually moved up they have moved up by roughly about 50 basis point from let's say 585 to 625 hmm. now in the same time period housing loan interest rates have actually come down from 7 to probably 665 today now compared to 10 year government securities housing loan interest are available at just about 40 basis point spread right 625 10 year gc 665 675 housing yes. loan this is the narrowest ever spread possible and which is where i think now probably housing loan interests will bottom over here and their movement will be dependent upon how government securities yield move right i don't think so this 40 basis point spread is going to narrow further okay uh in your assessment then the million dollar question a lot of our viewers have asked best time right now to buy a house then undoubtedly this is the best time to buy real estate because over last 4 5 years prices have stagnated in this work from home all of us have felt need for one additional room third because of the correction in housing prices affordability has increased and you are today getting loans at a rate which even state governments are not getting so you right. could not seek a better combination than today to buy a house well uh, nilesha thanks so much for sparing your time and answering our questions so very patiently Okay, we also have uh, a whole host of unanswered questions, which we will now take to uh, uh, our experts joining us on the show. We have Joydeep Datta, banking expert, uh, who's joining us on the broadcast. We also have uh, Neeraj Bhagat, financial and real estate expert, with us. Mr. Bhagat, if I can begin by asking you, the most commonly asked question to us has been whether this has prompted. or in a certain sense has made it the ideal climate to go out and buy a house i'm going to ask both of you uh, the same question is this the best time to buy yes you see right now besides the uh, very less interest rates the three or four more factors you know why somebody should buy a property now hmm. first is that you know there is lot of unsold inventory with the real estate developers and the government has recently made a change whereby you know if the transaction value and the the circle rate value the difference is not more than 20% then the transaction value would be counted as a the, the for the capital gain purposes hmm. so that is why the real estate developers they want to sell their invent inventory besides that you know as a buyer suppose you know if i want to buy a ready made property and you know for a ready made property there is no gst so that is also an advantage for a uh, real estate the house uh, house property buyer hmm. so that they all they get a cut on that so they don't have to pay gst on that right besides that you know when they actually go for executing executing a sale deed in their favor Then the lot of state governments they have cut the stamp duty or they have reduced the circulation. 
So that is also an advantage for the real estate buyer. So that is also an advantage, and they they should buy the property now. Okay. Now once okay. they bought once they bought the property, then there is another advantage on the affordable housing. So there is additional interest of one point five lakh rupees under Section eighty E A. Yes. So ultimately, yes. if somebody is buying a property, they get an interest rebate of three point five lakh rupees. So I think this period, you know, this would not last for more than six to one years time. And I think this is the best time to buy a property, and you you are you would neither see the property prices at this level. Neither you will see the interest levels at these levels, interest rate right. at these levels right. after one. Very, very quickly, very quickly, uh, Neeraj Bhagat, if I can bring you in, when you say this is the best time, what's the time period that you're looking at? I see uh, le less than one year. So in okay. 2022, you would not find the similar circumstances. The interest rate would be on higher side. The property prices have uh, would jump. And I think the this year, 2021, is the best price to buy the property. Okay. Because neither the interest rate will be available nor the property property jo prices will be available. Joy Deep Datta, should you opt at the moment for floating interest rate or fixed interest rate in this current climate? Well, good evening. I mean, I would rather uh, uh, say that uh, going to the floating rate is the best option to think about in this present scenario, because the opportunity that has come in this mortgage sector. Is more than welcoming, and you cannot have uh, have lesser than this rate. And uh, in, in future also, I am not forcing such a massive um, transformation in the home loan sector. So, ha having said that, uh, I believe that uh, the the end users, the actual buyers, are having the best benefit in the present scenario, and they can really opt the options of owning their own house, okay. which actually is the is the best thing to do right right at the moment. 2021 is the ideal time to do it. As, okay. as rightly said, Mr. Bhagat. In that uh, 2022, it, 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 it cannot be a certain feature that the home loan rate will remain in the same hmm. in, in, I mean, I mean category of the ROI hmm. with all banks. It might, I mean, go up as scheduled. Okay, uh, Mr. Bhagat, the other important question that a lot of our viewers have asked is: Should you transfer your loan at the moment if you if you have a fixed interest rate and not a floating one, and you're not reaping the benefits of? the interest rate being cut should you transfer to a bank which is offering a low interest rate or is that not advisable of course you know if you if you are getting a good deal and you know if you have good civil score and the bank bank is ready to take a loan at a uh, lesser rate then definitely you should opt for it and i think my advice would be to go for a fixed rate because you know you won't get similar rates ever and you know if you are getting a good deal good deal for a fixed rate at uh, less than 7% i think would be a very good deal And if you're getting a good option from a bank to transfer the loan from a, a bank which is charging a higher rate, I think it makes sense to transfer the loan, and you know you would get a good deal in the banks at this stage. All right, Jaydeep Datta, would you agree? Yeah, definitely. In this point, I definitely agree because getting a rate below seven percent in the in a, in a flat rate okay. uh, it, it is ideal for a, a for every customer. You know, I mean, and giving such rate would be more than welcoming to anybody. So I mean, if, if if a fixed rate with 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 a rate of interest of six point seven five is more than welcome to okay. any end user. All right. So the home loan rates are at an all time low. Many saying that this is, uh, uh, you know, a fifteen year low. How you can reap the benefits of this? Uh, we've hoped to break down for you on FII today. I'm completely out of time. Thank you both very much for sparing your time and being with us. That's all we have. Thank to you very for. much. Thanks for watching.